been campaigning for 20 years to get the UK out of the EU and we're nearly there. As Britain prepares to leave the EU and as our continental friends go into the European elections in May, it's worth reminding the 500 million European taxpayers just how much this dangerous Mickey Mouse project costs. Here's a little reminder of the cost of the EU, while millions are unemployed or living on the poverty line. The politicians in this place are living it up at your expense. What do MEPs cost you? Here's a tally of my cost to you, the taxpayer. Each year, I cost you £2 million. Each year, the 751 MEPs cost €1 billion. Euros. That includes the cost of MP salaries, expenses, staff and translation costs. This is 60% of the EU budget. That's not good value. Then there's the free healthcare at €3 million. Euros. Oh, and our male members can also get free Viagra too. And I've got chauffeurs with BMWs and Mercedes at €6.5 million. Euros. Do you have to park to pay your car, park your car at work? For me, it's free. On top of that, we have the Strasbourg Travelling Circus, where we are today. Each month, 751 MEPs, the unelected commissioners of Juncker, Barnier and the rest of them, our staff, chauffeurs, freelance translators, the whole entourage decamps from Brussels to here, to Strasbourg, to vote. Because this was the stitch up by the French when the first treaty was written. For just four days per month, for, for 12 months a year, it costs £130 million for a jolly in Strasbourg. Some 2,500 plastic trunks are loaded into five lorries and driven almost 300 miles to Strasbourg. Here's mine. Stockings, heated hair rollers, hairspray and a spare pair of knickers. The EU charters two express trains costing £200,000 per year. It's £2.5 million for relocating freelance translators. Catering at 1 million, medical support at 330,000. And looking after the empty French real estate here, that's 50 million euros per year. And then there is the overseas funding scam, including foreign aid, called Global Europe. I call this the office of the EU's bottomless pit. In 2018, 13% of the EU budget was spent on overseas vanity projects, totaling 10 billion euros. This is, of course, in addition to the UK's foreign aid scam currently running at £14 billion per year. Oh, and let's not forget the EU administration costs of offices in Brussels, Strasbourg, Luxembourg and elsewhere. The cost of funding all those salaries, pensions, limos, wine cellars and the rest is a cool €9 billion. Euros. And don't forget the PR budget. Coca-Cola's budget is €4 billion. Ours is €97 billion. Euros. And the total budget? The total EU budget for the term 2014 to 2020 is 960 billion euros. Hmm. But guess how much they want for you, from you, to fund the next six years? A cool 1.13 trillion euros. So who votes for this expenditure? Not the taxpayers. Turnout at each EU election has declined year on year. In 2014, only 36% of the electorate voted in the EU elections, and across the EU it's the same. In 1979, 62% of Europeans voted in EU elections. It's now 42%. And, to add insult to injury, the unelected Euro fat cats are the ones really coining it from our taxpayers. Brexit villain and ultimate Eurocrat in chief, Jean-Claude Juncker's salary, is £245,000. That's more than double the UK Prime Minister's salary, plus chauffeurs and a huge home allowance. And then there's the most useless commissioners of all, and believe me, there are too many to mention here. There is a special mention for Mrs Federica Mogherini. She's the equivalent of the UK's Foreign Secretary. This woman jets around the world representing the EU28. She's really quite an embarrassment. Promoted beyond her capabilities, she's the worst kind of female gender quota. She's an Italian recycled former communist and has never had a proper job. Yet her salary is £250,000 a year and recently spent £67,000 on a vi visit to the Azerbaijan capital. You could probably buy Azerbaijan for £67,000. It's Mickey Mouse money to them. The EU is the ultimate gravy train, the graveyard for retired liberal left. It's time to ditch this project. Voters, tell them to pack their Louis Vuitton cases. 
press the eject button on their private jets, shove their chauffeurs and vote them out. If you want to see more videos from me and the rest of the Rebel team, please like and subscribe. You can also hit that kill bell symbol to make sure you never miss another video. Thank you.